you are watching Redicon. Right. From the sacrum, we move to the iliac blade and crest. This is a uh, skeletally immature uh, patient showing this large extensile soap bubble kind of appearance of the iliac blade. In contrast to this one, an adult patient with uh, heterogeneous sclerotic mixed lytic kind of uh, abnormality in the posterior aspect of the right iliac blade. Then this patient had, a, had an MRI showing this large heterogeneous lytic lesion with extraosseous soft tissue. So when it comes to the iliac blade, if it's in the, in the skeletally immature kind of group, think about an ABC aneurysmal bone cyst, but also think about sarcomas. Sarcomas in kids, like Ewing sarcoma, rhabdomyosarcoma, sarcoma, or in adults, it can be any form of like pleomorphic sarcoma and things like that. But again, myeloma and metastases can affect the, the iliac blade. So on the same theme, keeping uh, our eyes focused on the iliac blades, looking for any asymmetry. So there is bubble gas obscuring some detail on the medial aspect of the, of the right iliac blade, but even allowing for that, you can see there is a lytic sclerotic kind of lesion in the medial aspect of the left uh, sacral, uh, left iliac blade. And then once you've spotted this abnormality, you would ask for, a, well, you should ask for a previous film to see whether this is, whether, whether this is a, a new abnormality or it's been there for a long time. So the examiner gives you this x-ray, which is nine months ago. Now, the bowl is obscuring the left side, but even looking at that, you can, you can still kind of see that this abnormality was, was barely appreciable there. So there has been an interval growth of this lesion. So you can see there is, so you can say that there is a, a large lytic sclerotic lesion involving the, uh, the left iliac blade. So in this age group, this is a young skeletally immature patient, you have to think about a sarcoma. So this patient had an MRI, and you can see there is a large lytic lesion with areas of sclerosis in the iliac blade, large extraosseous interior and posterior soft tissue component. This was biopsied and came back as human sarcoma. So think about sarcoma if it's a heterogeneous, aggressive looking lesion or metastasis. Right, another patient. Elderly patient had a fall, and you can see that there is an intracapsular fracture of the right femoral neck. But keep looking. Well, you can see the bowel gas and obscuring the, the details of the, uh, the right iliac blade, but keep looking. And then suddenly your, your eye catches, catches a lytic area or lytic lesion, you can say, lytic extensile surface lesion arising from the, uh, the left iliac crest. So now suddenly your kind of, uh, uh, your analysis of this film changes. So that fracture could be pathological in an adult, a lytic lesion most commonly is metastasis or myeloma. So this patient had an MRI and you can see it's got multifocal lytic lesions and that area, the anteriorly you're seeing is uh, is a myelomatous deposit. So this patient has multiple myelomas. So always look at the edges of the film. So myeloma, metastasis, pathological factor. Okay. So a few more examples. Uh, well, it's easy to see if there's a discrete lesion, but when things are diffuse, it's, it's a bit difficult to recognize. But I mean, if you look at this patient, this, this case, adult patient, keep looking, I mean, you see, looking at the bones, there are like these multiple punctate kind of lucencies. So it looks, it looks like something disseminated. This is a typical example of multiple myeloma. Or you can have metastases from breast or uh, thyroid. So this is, again, look for, look for lesions which are not discrete but widespread. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for new courses. For more modules and radiology CMEs, please visit www.radicon.org.